and we are live. Hello, everyone. Oh, this. Hi. It's Thursday live. It's Thursday. It's also pajama day at and I made it. Can I show my pigeons? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's how you see them. I am in a sweatshirt, but I don't really wear a sweatshirt at night anyway, for the most part. And then I have on these PJs. And they have on their PJs. Look, Amanda's got on mermaids. Yes. Michelle has on her PJs. What to listen? I told her, that is not PJs. I would wear that to my mother-in-law's, and that tells y'all something. That's how nice it is. <laughs> and we'd all wear them tomorrow. We'd be all dressed up. I would do it. Okay. I'm trying to get settled here. Okay. So today is a different kind of day. Here's the reason. I want to tell you first, okay? We had some internet work done today, and it carried on longer than we thought. And about 10 o'clock this morning, he was just really getting started. So instead of doing a project, because I was afraid we would get Blurry Monster, because we are having internet work done to stop the Blurry Monster, which we're going to see how it goes, um, we decided to do this today for our live show. We are going to do a crafter after show that won't include the girls. It'll just be me and Vince on that one, except maybe stunt hands back there. Um, but that's why we're doing this. And also because we've got a lot of ideas, but we want to pass them and chat with you guys about them and talk about them with you guys to kind of tell you what our brains are working on and kind of bring you basically today's kind of behind the scenes you know literally it like we're really literally you have a lot of stuff we want your opinion on mm -hmm. so good news first good news we have a new internet installed that we are hoping is going to fix our issues we're going to find out okay it's going to take some time to do some testing on it but he did finish 20 minutes ago and he did tell me that this one might have to do an update. So if we get booted off, it's because of an update and we'll come right back, okay? Um, a reverse Q&A. What's a reverse q and I'll tell y'all. Basically, it's where we're going to ask you questions, pointed questions, okay? And you're going to answer today and you're going to answer in the comment section when this video is live later, when it's processed, you know, in the replay. But before we get started, you, want me you introduce everybody. Well, I'm Vinny. Well. <laughs> and behind my head is Michelle. Is that it, Michelle? Behind my mate's head hey. is Amanda. Hey. And this is my mate. How's that? I put ice in my mouth. Well, you should know better than to put food in your mouth. Didn't mean to. While we're live. Just happened when I was drinking water. Didn't mean to. So, for those of you who don't know, Amanda is my assistant. She and I work on stuff that's like store related. Uh, May May related, customer service related. Um, that's what we work on together. Mm -hmm. Michelle is our event coordinator. Michelle works on things that are you related, like events coming to your area, events happening in our store, events happening in, in, events happening on YouTube. Like she works on all of that. Vince is my sidekick. <laughs> Vince says anything I ask him to when I ask him to do it, not when I ask him to. Not usually when you ask. Let's don't even be funny about that. Uh, no. That'll usually make you wait a little while. Vince is actually in charge of product and things like that in the store, ordering things, getting them in. When you guys send us a request, we send it to Vince. He works on getting it in, and we try to get new product. And he, that's his thing, products and store related. So, in this reverse Q&A, it's going to be a little bit weird, but I think the first thing I want to start with is YouTube, Okay. And there have been some changes in YouTube, and we'll all kind of speak, like, as we have something. Let's try not to talk over each other necessarily, but as we have something we want to say about it, because we've all been doing some research on it together, we will we'll jump in when we have a thought. The first thing is this. Here's the first question I want to ask you guys, okay? Question number one. Do you know what it means to be subscribed to my channel? That's the first question. If you know the answer, just yes, yes, yes is fine to throw into the um, chat. If you don't, then we're going to answer that question for you, okay? So, if you know what it means to be subscribed, say yes. That's awesome. M look at all the yeses. Melly wow. Lane said she did. Yay, Mel. Yes. I know how to subscribe to your channel, too, which if you're not, you also go sub subscribe to Melody Lane oh on goodness. YouTube. She's awesome. There's one or two yeses coming through. We got some yeses. You know what it means subscribed. It means to be subscribed. Okay. YouTube has put out a statement, and I'm going to read these statements to you. Because this is, this is the thing. Do you know what it means to... Okay, I have a no. I'm answering the no. Okay? When you subscribe to a YouTube channel, there's a little red button and you click subscribe. 
That means you like the content that you see and you would like to see more of that creator's content. It is free. It's not a subscription service. You're not being billed. You're not going to get a, a, any kind of money off of your account for it. It is a free thing. All it says is, I want more of this person's con content, so I'm going to subscribe to it. Then you have a subscription box in your YouTube, and those videos, in a perfect world, go to your subscription box. <laughs> there have been some issues, and we're going to talk about that, okay? There have been some issues with subscription boxes getting videos. This is important stuff. Because what happens is we get emails every day asking these questions, so we want to make sure we clear it up. The second question is, do you know what it means to ring the bell? This is the new lingo for YouTubers nowadays. It's like everyone you're watching, ring the bell, ring the bell, ring the bell. And you think, stop begging me to ring the bell. But there's a reason we ask you guys to do it. So do you know what it means? Look at all these yeses that know what it means to ring the bell. Wow. Okay, we got a no. Ding, ding. It's not my sound effects. <laughs> It is actually ringing the bell. So I did get one no, so I want to say this real quick. Notifications, when you subscribe to a channel, there's a little bell beside the subscription square on someone's YouTube channel, okay? You click that little bell. When you do, you get to tell YouTube how you want them to give you information about that channel. So you can pick, I want you to send me emails. I want you to notify me every time that this person goes live, what have you, okay? If you don't, this is the new YouTube situation, if you don't ring that bell, then you are probably mm -hmm. going to get notified about a quarter of the amount of times that I actually upload, okay? Because I'm gonna read some statements to you, okay? And there, that is correct, Sherry, we're gonna address that. The best thing for you to do, if you like my content, is to know my upload schedule because YouTube has made it clear that they are not notifying everybody that is subscribed to us and they're not notifying everybody that clicks that bell, okay? The best thing for you to do is know my upload schedule. The way to find it is on my YouTube page at the top in my header, I have my upload schedule, you will know, but I can tell you real quick. Tuesdays at noon, Thursday at noon we have live and then after that we do a cracker after show. Saturday at noon, Sunday at 9 a.m., okay? Knowing my upload schedule will help and coming to my channel. If you think you're missing my videos, my videos have not stopped. I did take a break when the baby was born because we were out of town, but my videos have not stopped, but a lot of people think I have, and that's because they're not getting notifications. So let me read something to you, okay? This was literally from a YouTube video that I'm gonna come back and link in the bottom of this so you guys can watch it, because I want you to know that it's not us doing this and that we're not trying to get you to not get notifications. To the point that we've done a little test, okay? Michelle up here, this side, <laughs> is extremely active on YouTube with lots of creators, okay? She has notification set. She has everything like it's supposed to be. And most of the time, especially when I go live, she's not getting notifications. And she has it set to get them, okay? So here's what we learned today. Um, this is an actual quote from a video from YouTube. If you ring the bell, you get a not notification when we go live, if you have told it you want that. Otherwise, you're not getting the notification. You have to tell them, okay? The second thing is subscribing, what does this say, Amanda? Subscribing, hmm. Subs subscribing gets notifications so occasionally, live. occasionally. Listen to this. Yeah. If you're a subscriber, this is what it's saying. If you're a subscriber, you occasionally get notified based on an algorithm that determines who is most active that would want to get my stuff, right? Which is crazy. It's an algorithm that says, oh, they might want it. Not just because you subscribe. You're not getting my content just because you subscribe. So at this point, we're up to an algorithm who says you might want to see this, okay? Um, the other one says... Oh, <laughs> if I go live and it's content somebody might like, they might send out stuff to people that aren't even subscribers to say, hey, you might like this. Mm -hmm. So the problem is you guys are just going to have to be very vigilant. If you want the content you want, you're going to have to go to your subscription box. You're going to have to look for us. And you're also going to have to be like, you know what? I know I may put up a Tuesday video and I didn't get notice of it. I'm going to her channel. It's really sad. Okay. 
I don't know how to fix it. There are a lot of creators that are leaving YouTube because of this, honestly. I've watched videos this week that are like, my views have dropped so much because they're not sharing me. My, I don't feel like my views are dropping. I feel like everybody's still around and watching. But I want to make sure because we get, I promise you when we go live on these videos, our phone rings off the hook of people saying, I didn't get a notification. We don't do that. We're not in charge of that, okay? So make sure you ring the bell. That's probably the best thing you can do to get notified. And we're going to try to do another thing. Is this the time? I guess it is time for me to say that. We're going to try to do another thing to help you guys, and that is this. We're going to start um, pre-scheduling our live shows so that you'll be able to go and set a reminder for those individual shows. So maybe you'll be getting your reminders a little faster. So like... Um, starting like May 1st, I'll just go ahead and pre-schedule every live show so you can go and get reminder, reminder, reminder. I know a lot of my friends do that, like Melody does that, Cinnamon does that, um, I can't remember who all does that. Do you know anybody else that does that? Anyway, so we're going to try that. Somebody said, smile, Danny. Oh, I'm reading. I guess I can smile <laughs> and read at the same time. Here's my favorite thing. Here's my favorite thing. This was a comment from that video I'm going to link below for you guys. YouTube said, we try to notify the people we feel that would be most likely to tune into your content. Come on, if I click subscribe, I'm most likely to tune yes. in. <laughs> so, well, anyway. I mean, yeah, because if you take the time to say, I want to see this content, that means I want to see this content. It's just, we have to figure out a way around it because we don't want you guys to miss anything. We work hard on our content. You may think today, like some people think Q&As are cop-outs, but here's the thing. We had a two-hour meeting to prep for this video. Yeah, yes. You, so these are not these are not easy things to do. Um, my content, I work hard on and I want you to see it. And you want to see it. We hear it from you guys. We're going to have to figure out our own way around it. Okay? So what, I know that we're doing a reverse Q&A. So we ask you the questions. Do you know how to subscribe and what it means? Do you know how to get notifications? And do you know how to find out what my schedule is? Now I'm going to let you guys ask questions about those topics. So if you have some questions, come on in. And if y'all want to fill in anything I did not say. I just want to say, Nyoka, we agree. What was her statement? That who is Facebook to decide, or who is, who is YouTube to decide what content she wants when she's the one clicking the bill? I wish, I wish the system worked the way, it, the way we think it should. Where if I click subscribe, I mean, I can tell you all this. I have subscribed to people that I've watched for years. And all of a sudden, they're not in my inbox anymore. And I'm like, have they stopped posting? And then I'll go to their actual channel on YouTube. And then there'll be videos that I haven't seen because they're not in my subscription feed anymore. And that's just an algorithm choice. And I don't like that. I'm like you. Someone's asking where the subscription box is on their screen. Very good. If you go to my channel, we'll turn this around and show them. That's a good question. And the thing is, and here's the interesting thing. YouTube rewards us. No, 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 no. I don't want to show it like that because they won't see it because you're subscribed. Let go, please. Thank you. About that. Just one second. Someone's asked if we found out why some live content has disappeared. We have no idea. No. We've checked into it. We it don't have any answer for why that's happened. If you're watching this video right now, you see this little red box right there. That's the subscription box. If you click that box, I'm going to click it. Next to it, there's a little bell, little gray bell right next to the subscription box. If you click that, you get this. So you can decide where you want your notifications, how you want them, okay? And you're just more likely. <laughs> Nothing is like set in stone, you're just more likely. Right, somebody said that ours is not the only one that this is happening. No, no it's, it, this is across the board. This is for every content provider that is on YouTube. We've done a lot of research, and I was even telling the girls, I'm, I'm leery of doing the pre, like the pre-setup like I talked about doing, so you guys could set your notifications. Because the last time I did that, I wasn't able to get into that one to go live, which was even weirder. And then the other time I did it, I went into it, and then it posted an old video as my current video. So... Okay, uh, Connie asked, can you show where to find your schedule? Okay, I sure can. We're going to go here. Is it also on our website? It's right there. Okay, so if you click on, if you're watching this video right now, and under the video, you see my name, it'll, like where it says, May May Made It Crafts. If you'll click on that, it'll take you to my YouTube main page, and right at the top, it says, New Videos Every, and it tells you my schedule there. Okay? 
Um, yes, and that is right. I want to make sure because oh, we're going to. Surely it's right. Surely it's right. So, what's the question? You have. Well, think. I was just going to make a comment. Donna Jo has said that some of her subscriptions have changed and some of the ring the bells have changed without her doing it. We know this is happening because that was part of the test that we ran with my account this week too, and we don't know what to do about it. We're not in charge of it. What we want to do is tell you guys how to find us. The other thing we're going to tell you is this. If you're on Facebook, okay, if you can join our group or, or like our page, we have a page that you can just click like and you don't have to chat back and forth. Tamitha takes every video I post and she puts it on all social media like that. And we now have someone who's working on our Instagram team. It's actually Tracy Dennis. You guys know her. She's an instructor for Medicon. She's going to start posting when I put a video on Instagram, too, so you guys will know. And we already posted on Twitter. It's automatic through YouTube to go to Twitter like that. And also Rhonda Bruce, Rhonda Bruce, Rhonda Morhaime, she'll, she'll laugh about that. Rhonda Morhaime, she also um, posts on Twitter when I put a video up. So if you do have any of those other social medias, it will help you to know, you know, that you, so you don't miss anything. Okay. Um, I can put the schedule on the blog, but the problem is blog posts get pushed down. Um, but we can put the schedule on our Facebook header and we could probably put it, but it's on the YouTube header. Like if you have a question, yeah. if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll be able to see my schedule right there. So I don't want to spend any more time on this. That's not really what today was about. I have some really cool stuff I want to talk to you guys about, but the reason I wanted to say this is I don't want you to miss any of this cool stuff coming up. Okay. So, oh, the community page. I need to tell you about the community page because I would like to start using it more, but I may do a separate video on that. Um, so we'll talk about that. Okay. All right. So let's go to the next um, questions that we have for you guys. <sighs> Which ones do we want to do next? Medicon or channel? Channel. I knew you were going to do that to me. <laughs> Save the best for last. Okay. Vinny, this is what I was going to talk to you about earlier, but I didn't get oh, to. Oh, okay. Vinny okay, wasn't here for the meeting, so he's going to learn when you guys learn. How about that? Nothing scary. It's not scary if you'll listen to me. It's, people are going to think this sounds scary, but it's not. So let me say it like this. In an effort to not change my YouTube channel in any way, I want you guys to get the same content from me that you've been getting since I started the channel, the same information, and I want to be able to upload there at my same schedule like I've always done because you're comfortable with. In an effort to keep that going, and also in an effort to fight off the blurry monster, we're trying to figure this stuff out, right? I'm hoping the internet thing is going to fix the blurry monster, but if it doesn't, we think we've come up with an idea. But this is the reverse Q&A. I want to hear from you, but don't answer yet. Let me get to the point, and then I'll say go, okay? We're thinking of starting a second channel called... What was it? <laughs> made, 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 one and these made it? No, I think it's made it. Made it mixer. Made... I don't remember. Made we're thinking of starting, we right have now. a name for it, okay? And we're thinking of starting the second channel. This second channel would be nothing but paper flip throughs when we get a new product, um, new product demos, um, new product whatever. It might even be just techniques. This would be a whole separate channel. But here's the reason. Listen to me when I say this, okay? Our website allows us to link videos in products. Okay, so if I have a new paper pack and I do a flip through of it, I can link that video on that page and you can come to it and just watch that single video about that paper pack instead of having to watch my hour long crafter after show to get to the paper pack flip. Okay, I also can't, I don't have to muddy my channel with 500 little videos this long. <laughs> in your subscription box, which we're trying to fix anyway. So we're trying very hard to not change my, my channel. I don't want it to muddy up my channel, but you guys cannot imagine the amount of emails and phone calls and text messages and Facebook messages we get saying, I want to see this paper pack. I want to see how this product works. I want to see this. And here's the cool thing. I'm not the only one in this place that knows how to do these products and things. These girls can- This one's can, amazing over here. Michelle can. Mandy, our graphic designer, we can show you how to do things on this second channel 
that you can subscribe to if you want. You don't have to watch it. You don't have to look at it, nothing. But we can also go, oh, Michelle did a project using Brutus Monroe sprays. I'm going to link that video to the product page. And you don't have to listen to May May tell you 900 other things before you get to that. That does not mean I'm not going to use products in my video. Of course I am. I buy my products from us. That's where May May gets her product, us. Okay? So I'm going to use product in video. My channel won't change. That's the plan. I do not want my channel to change at all. So my question to you is, or, or now I also want to say this, we will still do some paper flip throughs and things like that, but it was brought to my attention one time by Naoka that there was a company that did this. They did their paper flip throughs and put it on the product page and she loved it because I might show you the paper pack and then you could just click right over to the product page and go, oh, I like this one, I want it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so my question to you is, would you be okay if I started this second channel that was all about product demos that does not affect my channel? We More than likely, it wouldn't get like, we wouldn't, I don't think we'd post it everywhere unless you guys wanted us to, if you were missing the information. I just think it'd be a cool thing for us to be able to show you more stuff in smaller, shorter, quicker videos. Now, I want to say this, some of them may not have, um, some of them may not have a lot of chatty stuff, we may do some of those videos where you just get to see how the product works. Um, and then if you want to subscribe to that channel, great. And if you don't, nothing on May May's channel changes. You see what I'm saying? I don't want to muddy it all up. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> you got to remember I make my living showing people how to do things with my hand. <laughs> so, um, and, that, and on that channel, there will be more stuff like, see, okay, for example, this Michelle, I can't do it. <laughs> Michelle, she likes mixed media and all that. That's not really my thing, but she does really cool stuff you guys would like to see. But if I add that to my channel, it waters down what I'm doing on my channel and it makes it confusing. And I don't want to do that. My channel is May May Made It for you guys. And everybody understands that. These girls do too. Michelle's a subscriber and she agrees with that, you know? So. Some people, one lady said, I want to see it all. I don't care where it is. We have, and I want to tell you something. We have a very small amount of people that feel that way, which I feel that way. I want to see everything a person's doing. I want to see behind the scenes. I want to see what they're doing here and what they're doing there. But a lot of people, the majority of people don't. They come to YouTube for like a quick instructional video. They want to learn how to do something and go away. And that's kind of what that other channel would be actually. So what, what was that comment? I love it because I didn't get to see the because. Usually I don't. Hold on, I lost it. It's going quick. I, can't, I lost it. I don't know what I need until you show me what I need. So more product videos would be helpful. But not on my channel. See, that's the thing. I don't want it muddying my content. I don't want you having to go, gosh, is this a demo or is this her actually doing a tutorial? Is this a I want my channel to say what my channel is, okay? But I want you guys to be able to go over there if you want to. And think about this. Let's say I do a pro. This would be so cool to me. Let's say I do a project with um, Nuvo watercolor pen, uh, brushes. Instead of in that product, instead of me having to teach you how to use that product every time, I can link a video below that shows you how to use the product. What was it? Thank you, Michelle. They would like to subscribe to our channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then what we're going to do is, I mean, here's what I want to do. I want to give this video a night to come up, let our refresh, let our, uh, what's it called? They watch it later. Our replay watchers. Let them have some communication. Let us look at it. Let us see it. Um, and let, and then we'll, as we do that, we'll certainly make announcements to you guys. I just think that you, there's so much. I was telling the girls, there's so many products I have ideas for, but they're not necessarily full videos. They're just techniques. And if we could throw those into the product description and you guys could be like, oh, that's what this product does? You have to host a video somewhere to throw it into the product description. So that's what we're thinking. All right, so there's that one. Then, Do you want us to know if we can start ordering when we can sell it again? That's you, dude. I know, but didn't we kind of? We stopped carrying as many. I think we still had like the clear or something else when we got the Nuvos in because the Nuvos were just, in my opinion, a better price and a better product in my opinion if you want us to carry both we'll carry we can carry a small smattering of both but if you've not tried the new you owe it to yourself to try them you get two pins for one price and 
it's really good and they're so pretty and I, I'm not trying to badmouth Wink I have used Wink Estella forever and I love it too and I have both of the pens but you just need to try the other one Mamie, just for clarification someone was asking showing the new products on another channel but you're still going to show them in the, app, the product itself in the after show here's what I want you to know I think you guys enjoy my channel content it's not going anywhere it, I don't want my channel to change Anything that happens on my channel would be bonuses, no changing. I love the way my channel's done. I love Crafter Show. I love Crafter After Show. I love my channel. I don't want to muddy my channel. Does that make sense? I don't want to make it, because I've seen people do this, and I totally want all the content, but for me, I would like to have it in two places. So I might be like, oh, May May made it, posted a video down. I want to watch this. I'll watch those other ones later. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just think it's a good idea. I don't want my channel to change. Matter of fact, you guys need to know something. And I'll let Vince tell you so it doesn't come from me. Tell them what I have always said about YouTube and how I am toward it. Well, you've always said that you would never stop doing YouTube because of the store. YouTube comes when? Right? When does YouTube come? First. My channel and what my channel has always been is my passion. I want to teach you how to craft. If there's a project you want to know how to do, I want to teach you how to do it in a simple, easy way. That's my channel. Well, you always said that there's so many creators that went um, to retail or went to something else mm -hmm. and got so busy with that, they didn't have time for their channel anymore, and you never wanted to be that person. I don't. If I have a schedule, a YouTube schedule comes first, and we're even working on that behind the scenes to give me more time to put to my channel, um, but we're, these girls right here are amazing and they can do so much and not just these girls, the people back there, the people over there, the people up there, like all our staff are doing so great that we want to give me more time to get in there. Plus I'm getting a new filming space and I'm super excited because I want to really throw myself into that because that's the thing. I don't want, yes, I have an online store and yes, it pays my bills. And I want you to learn how to use product, but my whole heart is my channel and you guys. So that's why we're trying to figure out how to make it where you can get all that you want. Okay. Dino said they would watch you here, and they would watch you there, and they would watch you everywhere. That's adorable. <laughs> hey, I want a shirt that says I will craft here, I will craft there, I will craft everywhere. Alrighty. Write that down. Can we do that? Look at them back on the back there. Write it down. That's how this works. <laughs> Um, can we do that? We gotta do all the logistics. Where's Mandy back there screaming? No, you can't. It's a copyright. <laughs> okay, Crystal, that's Mandy. That's not me. I don't know if they're gonna get into any more of that or not. Planners. Planning. You know, we may not get into. We won't be doing the stickers again. Neither one of us felt. We actually felt like. I think Mandy felt this way too. Although Mandy still plays with stickers and she buys them from different places and blah blah. blah. I feel like we both think we could give you the same thing in stamp sets. Um. So we may go a stamp route, but for now we're not. We've got we've got a cool. Let me tell you something. I'm working on something so cool right now with stamps that doesn't have anything to do with us, and it's kind of it's kind of a client issue that you guys are gonna freak out over. <laughs> it's like seriously, and so we're working on that, and, and we're gonna. There's something else they need to know about us. I think. Really. What is our theory for processes? What's our theory for processes? We ain't had nothing till we get the one we're doing right. That's our theory for processes. When we start something new, when we get it right, we move to the next thing. And so um, that's why we're a little slower than the average, though, honestly. Because I got to know, we can't just add a bunch of stuff and have a bunch of problems in the air. We can't do that. No. So. Um, one person said, Penny said, please start cook your cooking channel again. I have a plan that Vince doesn't know about that I discussed with the girls oh, this morning. And this is what happens when you go turkey hunting in the morning that's right, you and don't come to here. work on time. If, this, if my plan can happen, that'll be back sooner than later because I'm with you too. I love his channel and I'll tell you something funny. And I like doing it. And I'll tell you something funny. We've got a lot of people wanting him to like review products and try things that I do want to know if they work. Like seriously. And they're sending emails, but because we haven't updated his channel, it's kind of hard to, to get them to say okay to that, right? So, um, I really do want that to come back. Here's the problem. The May May side does not have time to do the Vinny side, but I have a plan to see if we can make that work. So, there's that. I also want to ask you guys this question, okay? 
this wouldn't change my channel, but I do think this should live on my channel. And I want to see if you, so this is a question for you guys, okay? Don't answer yet, let me say it. You know how y'all like the Brenda projects, and you don't know it yet, but you'll like the Michelle projects and all that kind of stuff. You haven't seen her projects yet. So Wednesday is a day I don't upload on my channel. We've been talking about, I could take Wednesday. This, this would not be hard to add to my channel, and it wouldn't change my dynamic. I could take Wednesday and make that Mix It Up Wednesday. No, it's Made, what is it? I, I think we're Made right. It Mixer. Yeah. We'd have Wednesday be the Made It Mixer. And so Wednesday, we could use that day to put to put content up that's not an every day, every Wednesday, or it might be. So if Brenda comes in and does a project, we're like, oh, that's cool and everybody will love it, do that. Those kinds of videos could go, because they would be tutorials. They wouldn't be like product demos. Um, we would put that on Wednesday, okay? And that way it doesn't change my channel, and it's and it's still a tutorial style thing, but we would use Wednesday for, like, friends of May May, but not really, because May May might be in that mix too. Like, it would be a mixer. It would be different stuff that we might do, including our chalk couture, which I've, you've been asking me. Oh, my gosh, I have heard y'all. Listen, I know I'm so late to the game. I did sign up for chalk couture, and I did get it, and I do think it's amazing, and I just placed a huge order, and Michelle is going to be my team leader for chalk couture, so that kind of, I know I just went like that this time, just straight back. <laughs> so I would love to start showing all the chalk couture stuff too, but that's really not for the other channel. That's really like the mixer day. And I think that'd be fun because you guys want to see what we all do. You don't want to just see what I do, right? We all have great ideas. So um, I think that'd be cool. So like Wednesday would be the day we would set aside. It doesn't affect anything. It doesn't mess with any schedules. It doesn't change what May May's doing. I like that, May May and Friends. That's cute. It may not be May May and Friends. It might, well, May May and Friends works because it could be me too. Mm -hmm. Like I may do a project that goes on, for, on Wednesday that's maybe not something I normally do, right? I have no control. People have asked me about Naoka videos. I have no control over that. Naoka will have to start herself channel. I don't have any control. Because she's not, she's not local. Y'all got to remember that too. I, now I'll say this if somebody wants, listen. I have no problem with this, especially coming up with my new room. If somebody wants to come and film something, that might be fun if you guys ever want to come and film a tutorial. How cool would it be for Naoka to get to come? To come and do a tutorial in our room. That would be so cool. I, because because I'm getting a new filming space in the back. Packing up, Naoka. Melody. That would be so cool. Melody's wanting to come anyway because she's wanting to put a little miles on her test. I, I see that. No, that would be really cool. If you guys ever want to just go, I want to make a tutorial at May May's, and then we could use that Wednesday for that kind of stuff. How fun would that be? I think that'd be super cool. So, no, of course, I will say, I will say this. <laughs> you know, content would have to be what we do. It couldn't well, be like the one person that said they wanted to come. Charmaine, you cannot come. <laughs> oh my gosh! Everyone, listen to me for a second. So I walk into the Made It Con room, and. <laughs> Charmaine comes up to me and says, I want you to know your family's mean to me. I'm not kidding. <laughs> and I go, Charmaine, I'm so sorry. And she is so serious. I have never, I thought I was good at this. I am she about a, ready to go bluffer. kick all of my family out. I'm like, how dare you? And as I go to them, Charmaine goes, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, you almost got me in trouble. I was like, what? Really, it was more Thomas and Dave than me. They were playing, but Charmaine is good. Y'all ain't seen a poker face like Charmaine's. She's a good bluffer. I was like, are you serious? I, it was hilarious. I was ready to go hurt somebody. So when Vince is teasing Charmaine, they are teasing each other, just so y'all know that. So, All right, somebody said they want more cricket videos. I'll be honest with you, that Wednesday would be a good day for me to do it. Here's my thing about cricket and brother. So few of my viewers have them, and I hate to take up my regular schedule for that because... I want to give the most people the most things. Does that make sense? So that Wednesday would be a good day for that. So she was saying she wanted Amanda on the cricket day. That's fine too. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I just had to throw that out there, Miss Margie. <laughs> I don't care. Who, we, that would be what that day is for. Hello from Denmark. What we thought we could do is like pre-film some content and then just kind of start putting it up. So, um, okay. Oh, Lord, look, she's telling Beverly to message her so she can tell her all the bad stuff about you. Charmaine, she's like, message me, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, be careful. Kim says, don't burn out. See, that's the cool thing about it. It doesn't change my channel at all. 
that's what I love about it. It doesn't change my schedule. It just lets them have their outlet and lets you guys see the different fun, cool stuff. And that's the whole point. My schedule, my YouTube channel is not changing. Y'all are not seeing that happen. But adding to it would be from them, which I think is cool. I'm going to be filming soon. Yay, Margie. That's cool. Oh, my gosh. I like that. Revisiting old material. What a good idea. The only problem with revisiting old material is most of the time we it's can't get the product anymore because it could be a discontinued yeah. thing. But it doesn't mean the technique also, would be bad. I do a lot of old painting projects. <laughs> well, the old, I actually, I want to tell you something. I have ser seriously thought about going back in my channel and I was going to do it today. I thought it'd be fun to go back and find an old video and recreate it like I would with today's product. I think that'd be fun to do. You know, like, and just, because I mean, a lot of my products are kind of evergreen where I put the project up and you can use whatever product you can get now to make it, but that would be fun to do. So, the, so that question was, would you guys like the Wednesday mix it up or the midweek mix it up or whatever we're going to call it? On the regular On channel. On regular channel, that's right. So, I'm reading and I'm reading. I'm reading both places. All right, let's see. What was the other question? I can't read your writing, man. I'm sorry. I probably can't read yours either. Where we at? Oops, oh, we already said, said all that. Hello. Somebody said, duh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see you said it because they're coming to me. I was like, duh, yeah. Wow, Lord, the comments are going fast. Yeah. I think overall it's yes. Everything you suggested, yes. <laughs> I like that, Ron. Thank you. Can I get that on a shirt? I'm kidding. No, 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 no. I'm kidding. Okay. I'm picking up the pencil. We've got someone asking about the classes for Pigeon Forward. Those will be announced the yeah. third. Is that the plan? That's the plan? That's the plan. Do you want to go to the Made It Con questions? Do you want to ask those? Are we those? ready? Do you want to ask those? Are we ready for Made It Con I, I, That's all the channel stuff I want to talk okay. about. I'll let you do it. There you go. I didn't even... Charlotte Reagan, where have you been? I've been worried about you. I literally had Margie message you because we're not friends on Facebook. <laughs> I was like, what in the world? Okay. okay. This is just okay. basically. So Michelle's got some made it con questions. And we're asking very, you notice today we're asking for yes or no's or actual answers. We're not asking for open-ended stuff. So let's let's see what she's got going for you. Um, do we want to talk about... First, this is a May May question. Do we want to talk about who's going to be there? We can. Okay, so um, it's well, going... Well, according to comments, somebody's already... There are some people already there. announcing, but that's okay you because already announced. they knew what they had to do, so we're good. They've done it. We're good. Okay. <laughs> so so um, Genevieve has already announced that she's going to be there. We're really excited about the projects that are going to be coming there. Um, let's see. Want me to just go down the list? Yeah. Okay, so. Um, they the, can't hear you, good Michelle. Edith Ray from Scrapbooking with Me. Brenda Berry from Hey Hey Made It. <laughs> Brenda Beret. Beret. Jennifer Harrison of Genevieve Designs. Tracy Dennis of Scrap. Uh, what is her Create Scrap Along with Trace. Create Along with Trace. Rhonda Nickerson. Janet. Oh, Rhonda's Creative Corner. Create Rhonda's Creative Corner, Janet Winkle, Scrapbooking with Me. No, no, no. Scrapbook Superstar. Oh, Janet Winkle. Uh, she doesn't have a channel. Okay. Lisa Wise with May May Made It. Amy Brody. Tracy Phillips is Gift Baskets Appeal. Amanda Ray. Possibly, depending on what we need done. And more. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna leave off and more. But how many other names are there? Three. 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 There's three other names coming, and we're waiting. We're waiting on one thing, and as soon as we get it, we'll go. One of them we might can. I, I want to tell y'all something. We're gonna be putting Michelle some announcements up. Janet Lincoln is a stamp in every hand. I think her Facebook is a stamp in every hand. I do. She doesn't have a YouTube channel, but I think that is her Facebook. She might have a YouTube channel now. It's been a while. Um. We have three more names coming. We're going to start announcing on Instagram and Facebook just little, uh, Mandy's making some little graphics that are just super cute, and we're going to be putting those up for you guys to see. And um, we, it's exciting. These other three names we have are super exciting too, but even more than the names that are coming are the variety of classes we have for you guys. You guys, you, there is going to be so much for you to choose from. If you didn't hear a name, 
It doesn't mean they're not coming. It means we're waiting on something. And as soon as they, um, actually, um, again, okay, so I, no, no, I don't have it, and I'm keeping my rules. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I have rules, and we're keeping them because if I don't, my attorney will beat me up, <laughs> and I don't have an attorney to fight off my attorney. So. <laughs> excited that that happened so there you go we're very excited and and we want that to be something we can say as well no and amanda and mandy are not the same person they're not no. so are we doing lunch for our birthday then you and i okay if you'll come over here come on you'll buy me lunch and dinner we had lunch um, today for lacy's today's lacy's birthday all um, right so ask the made it comp first off because i see someone saying what are we talking about explain they can y'all hear her well enough she has such a soft voice I do not. You do too. <laughs> okay, so Made It Con is going to be in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee at the Music Road Convention Center and Resort. And it is going to be on September 13th, 14th, and 15th. We're going to put that information in. Um, as of yesterday afternoon, there were 29 rooms available at the hotel. You can book at the hotel or the inn. Um, they have a big block of rooms that we've only got 29 left. And... What else can I tell you? It's going to go from 9 o'clock in the morning till 8 o'clock at night. And then we have some fabulous fun things going on after hours as well. Um, the Made It Go Round, Make It Go Round tickets are sold out. We are sorry that that has happened so quickly. We didn't realize that it was going to happen so quick, but we're glad everybody who was able to get a ticket was able to get one. We currently do not have a waiting list for that. Um, if you want to email me, I can keep your information, but we are not guaranteeing a waiting list. We just can't because we don't know that anybody's going to want to give up those tickets. I know it sounds like we're being all exclusive on that, but the situation is we only have so many seats, and we prep for those seats, and we can't, we can't be uh, messy with that. It has to be very specific, but I will say this. If you didn't get a ticket for the Make It Go Round the last time we offered it, when the classes become available May 3rd on our website, you better be there. That's what I'm going to say, okay? If you wanted a ticket and you didn't get it, you better be it's at so the website. Wrong. <laughs> it's so wrong. wrong to do that. No, it's not because I'm going to tell you what happened. I want to say this to you. Every, I got so many messages saying, I wish you would have given us notice. I wish you would have given us notice. I got to tell you something. We didn't give notice because the last time we did this, Make it go round tickets were available for I want to say a week or so it was later. At least the over a weekend. Like you know. they lasted, and we had I mean we watched and they went for days available. We had no idea they would sell out in two and a half three hours. We had no idea. So in the future we will give notice. We yeah, will I'm always gonna, give notice. We're gonna say this one more time. If you did not get a ticket to make it go round, be sure to be on the website. May 3rd when the classes are announced. What we'll probably do May 3rd, this is what I would like to do, and I think everybody agrees. When we announced it the other night when we were live, we were able to answer a lot of questions while you guys were shopping. So we may just do a live on May 3rd anyway, which we will. I think that's a Thursday anyway, isn't it? So we'll, we'll do it all live so you guys have a question. We can get it answered super quick. So and I saw a question I want to address that said that if someone bought a ticket, if you know somebody who bought a ticket and they can't come, can you have their ticket? Can you get their ticket? All sales of tickets need to go through us at May May Made It. But that person can send me an email with your information. You can, you can send me an email with their information, and we can see what we can do. We can't guarantee anything at this point. Let me tell you why, okay? you are going to get a special thing that gets you access to the room. Like, literally, it is so exclusive because it has to be. Like, you, you can't just walk up to this event and go, I got a ticket, I'm going in. It doesn't work like that. You have to check in at the door. Names have to be checked off, blah, blah, blah. So we can't do this whole, if you switch your ticket with somebody and they say your name, it's not going to work because their name won't be on the list. It is literally, are you on the list, which is okay. ridiculous. What is. time on May the 3rd will this go live? We will put up a graphic. We will let you guys know. I'm feel, I'd am like to not do it like really early in the morning because our friends in the, on the Pacific Coast are three, two hours behind us. Two hours? 
So it, it'll probably be something like 10 a.m. ish. Like it won't be so early that you guys have to get up at you know four in the morning or five in the morning. To Why get don't to you it. just make them live at noon? We can we do, do it at show. noon. Let's do it at noon when we do the show, and then everybody doesn't have to be up at the crack of dawn to to be hearing about it. All right. Okay. Can we say something real quick? It depends on what it is. Yes, you can. <laughs> okay. We need to clarify. Not getting a ticket for Make It Go Round has nothing to do with tickets for other classes. This is totally separate. That's just one class that's not a ticket to the event in itself. All the Make It Go Round is, is this super fun evening that we do together in a big room with as many people as we can fit in there. And we even thought, we were like, maybe we could make it bigger. Maybe we could open up to more people. The problem is, it's already a three-hour event. If we, if we made it any bigger, it would be four, five, six hours, and we just can't do that. It doesn't mean that you don't need to be watching on May 3rd. Yeah. Pause. Pregnant pause. It doesn't mean that you need to be watching on May 3rd. Because here's the thing. We have, that is one event. How many classes will we be opening up on May 3rd? Um, I believe that we have somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 classes that are going to be announced. And um, to address one of the questions I'm seeing about how do we make sure that you're not booking two classes at the same time. You have to make sure you're not booking two classes at the same time, but we're going to try to make it easy. We're going to list the time that the class or workshop or demo starts, and everything that starts at that time is going to be listed together. So you'll be able to see that you may have to pick between one or another. So here's the deal. What you'll want to do, what we'll do, here's what we should do. We're, we're totally talking off. We should talk. We should. We probably should release the, the class grid early. Just teacher names. Okay. We can. We, I know we can't necessarily. If, if everybody turns in their class information early, we could release the class grid before ticket sales go up. So you could like circle these are what I want, and then you could go buy them. Oh, what about price range for classes? Classes are going to start. It depends. All right. All right. There's three different things. Okay. We're going to offer. Can I say all that? Yeah. Okay. We're going to offer demos. We're going to offer workshops, and we're going to offer classes. There's something you got to know about May May. Okay. She doesn't want anybody left out. If you want to attend this event, I don't want you to not be able to afford it. When I was just a crafter out there in the world, I could never afford these events. I just couldn't. And I couldn't spend two and $300 just to attend an event. So I do events a la carte. And here's what that means. If I could schedule my family vacation at the same time, I could be like, Vince, I want to go take a class at this place just one day while we're there. And I would get to experience it. So that's why we do it a la carte. So here's how to work. Demos are less expensive than workshops, which are less expensive than classes, unless the workshop gets you a lot. It's all based on what you get for the class, okay? Demos are 45 minutes, and they're not hands-on for the most part. Some of them will be hands-on, but you'll know that ahead of time. Workshops are more hands-on, and you get an hour and a half in that one. And then classes are 100% hands-on, and you can get two to three to even four hour classes, okay? So we're trying to make it work. And there's also free stuff you can attend, all right? the make, We will always have a free meet and greet. You never have to pay to come meet me or Vince or our staff or anybody at the event. That is always free, okay? And we may even have some other little free things for you, like the pajama party at night is a free event. No one pays to come to the pajama party. Um, so just... Just know that you'll have lots of options. So if we are able to release the um, class grid early, that would be a good thing. If we can, if nothing else, we can do it with teacher names. We can do teacher names for sure. Mm -hmm. Class classes is just a maybe. If people turn their stuff into us early enough, we can do that. That's that's all we're waiting on. Like there's a there's a deadline for them to turn stuff into us. So. And the question about how much each of them, uh, each of the classes is, are going to be, that's still being determined. So um, I'm sorry that we can't be real specific on that because it depends on the class, the supplies, and the teacher, and the amount of time because a three-hour class may run more than a two-hour class, and a four-hour four hour class certainly will. Here's what you got to understand. We encourage our teachers to, number one, pay for their travel because <laughs> that that's out of their pocket okay to make sure you get quality for what you're paying you if you heard our mission statement before the whole point is to let you be engaged in an, in an environment that's encouraging in a way that you can learn and then also in a, in a um, student teacher ratio that you won't be 
you know, one in a hundred being taught from one person and also give you quality for what you do. So this is the thing. We're like, there's no registration fee or we're not charging you $79.95 just to attend. There's none of that stuff. Okay. So you'll be able to buy stuff. You'll be able to buy classes in your price range and as much as you can afford. All right, we need to move on because this was supposed to be a reverse Q&A. Right. We have questions to ask you, okay? So I want um, Michelle to start asking those questions. Okay, first question. This is a yes or no. Are you interested in a silhouette class? Learning about the silhouette machine and software. You guys know, I don't know the silhouette, but I'm, I can find teachers and I'm talking to people now. And I want to know if that's something you would like. And so we want to see your answer. So yes or no, say it either way. We look at numbers. Okay. Wow, lots of no's. Lots of no's. Okay. Lots. Look at the no's. There's some yeses. She put three. Does that count? She put three yeses. One, two, three. Uh, the silhouette is a machine, is an electronic cutting machine. So there's the Cricut, the silhouette, and there's the Brother Design. I think it's called Design. Um... So, no, they're not interested in silhouette class. Our viewers are not. Overall. Yeah, there that's were some people that were. Um, that is very interesting. See, this is the kind of takeaway we want. And these are for future possible classes. None, none of yeah, this not is for guaranteed this for Medicon, um, for this Medicon coming up. So, the next question. Wait a minute, there's some yeses. Okay. There's a few yeses. Yeah, when I, can, yeah, I think there's more no's, but I think there's enough yeses that we could at least consider it if it arises. Hmm. We may put up a poll on the on the Made It Con page. We may put up a poll. That's a that's cool. All right, what's your next one? Are you interested in a brother scanning cut class or demonstration? I got this stick in here. I can't go that way. A brother uh, scanning cut demo or class? I knew there'd be more yeses on this one. Yes, I knew there would because. It's such a money saver in the long run. It is. <laughs> it still looks like it's a little more. It's a lot of yeses, Vance. Look a lot at those more yeses. yeses. See, lot, so Laura's got the right idea because she said demo. And the thing about the demo is those are really inexpensive. Like we try to keep those really inexpensive for you to attend. And in the demo, you're able to see, you're able to get knowledge about something. And I think it would be a good demo. So. Um, the, the supplies are going to be explained as we move forward with the classes. You'll get a class list that tells you the supplies you need to bring beyond the Made It kit. And the Make It kit is actually listed on the website, mamamadeit.com, under events. So you can see that at this point. There may be a few things that are added to it as we move forward, but the basic kit is already listed. So my next question is, are you interested in a cookie or cupcake decorating class? Or food decorating. Or cake decorating. Cake I don't decorating care. decorating fits, yep. Hmm. I love watching your answers come in. I love this reverse Q&A stuff. This is cool. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> right. <laughs> there's still some decent number of yeses, even though there's a lot of no's. Um... I think it's so interesting to see your, your responses. So interesting. Remember, too, if you're watching this on the replay, we still want to know what you think. We're still compiling your information. Okay. Just oh, I got a maybe. Maybe. <laughs> now, I am with Bobby on that. Now, Bobby said she liked to eat cupcakes. <laughs> okay. Well, can we go? The next question is, are you interested in some sort of sewing class? Some sort. Sewing or fabric or something like that. Cake decorating. Did you see that comment? I'm not answering. Wow. We feel strongly about sewing. No, wait. Look, what's happening? <laughs> no, so. That's what he no, so. Like, blue. Like, no, so. Okay. Interesting. Wow, like that was very, that. very split. What if it was, let me ask it this way. What if it was a project you could make in the class to learn about sewing? Well, see, um, Aunt Lolly said yes for the Cricut Maker. 
Oh, we know about Cricket. We got we got your Crickets covered. Yes. Yeah. That's so interesting. See if they could do it as a kit. Like when I was in home ec, we used to get these kits and we could sew them and make the thing. You know what I'm saying? That would be kind of cool. Okay, I want to ask that question because I think that's a good question. Someone mentioned tatting. All right, so that's enough of that question. Let's stop. Look at that girl's name spelled almost like yours, one letter different, oh, two that. letters different. Let's start with that one. Very good. Good job, everyone. Thank you. Would you be interested in a tatting or um, what's the one with the little, the little crochet? What's that called? Tatting or? No idea. Can't remember. Mm -hmm. Tatting is like, um, gosh, it's hard to describe. You may have to Google that one to see it because it's hard. It's kind of like <laughs> knotted. I don't want to say it like that. It sounds so ugly if I say it, if I describe it. You know, you might be trying to make it too broad. That's the whole, this is why we're asking these questions. Yeah. Let me clarify. This is made it convention. I don't want it to be, may may makes it, you have to, that's the only thing we're going to do. I want creators to come together and cross pollinate each other. You see what I'm saying? It's like, that's a cool craft that you do. For example, when we went to our last made it con in Texas, we had a lot of ATCers. And I was surprised how many people didn't know what an ATC was and started to fall in love with it after seeing it happen. And I want to do that. I want us to, I want to cross pollinate crafting. I want people to see there's more to it than just this or that and the other. Mostly because I love, I, there's not a craft I don't love. There's a lot I can't do. Well, I mean, you think about, we talked about this the other day, how some of the old style things like quilting and things like that, that were such a great art that so many people did back in the day. But now, you know, it's very rare you hear people talking about making quilts anymore. All right, question. We, I'm going to add this one. Would you want an ATC class? That's your question now. Would you want an ATC? Let me say what it is. Artist trading card. What they are for, I'm going to tell you in a nutshell. It's a very specific size card. It is supposed to be for you to share your technique of art with other artists, okay? It's like your business card, but it is an actual sampling of your art. So if you're a mixed media artist, you would mix media your, your ATC. If you're a card maker, you might make a little small card front. If you're a acrylic painter, you might acrylic paint it. If you're a decoupager, you might decoupage it. That's what they are, but a lot of people are confused about what they are. They're actually small pieces of art. You actually date them, and you number them, and you sign them. It's the whole, there's a lot of detail about it, okay? So if you, what do we get on the, do we get yeses or nos on ATC? I think we got a lot of yeses. yeses. Just this general. A lot of yeses on, on ATCs. This is a good example. This is a stamper. This person is a stamper, and it looks like she inked. That is her ATC, and let me, oh, Stama Jo, she's on here. And on the, wait, is her personal information on there? No. And on the back, you put your name, you know, where maybe where you shared it, you number the card and things like that. This one is from Acrylic Paint, and she has her address on there, so I'm not going to show the back, but like this. It's a sampling of her art, of what she does. And you trade them, and you save them like, like baseball cards. It's for artists. It's baseball cards for artists. Yeah. You make them, you trade them, you save them. Yeah. It's, it's just something fun to do. And they, and they don't have, these are flat, but they can be dimensional. They are a sampling of your art. I want you to imagine a full canvas versus this. So, if you, I think a lot of people like the idea of that. Didn't y'all? Um, okay, next question. And I'd have to take this class because I'm struggling. Would you like a quilling, not quilting, a quilling class? I would not be able to teach this one because it's kind of kicked my butt. Yeah, I did a couple things, but not enough to be I can do it on a small scale and on a really simple scale, but when you see these people building 3D things and stuff, I, I don't know about that, but a lot of people are saying yes. Wow. I like that you guys are bringing up all these topics. That's a lot of yeses. We have watercolor, by the way. We do that one already. I wanted to mention also, somebody asked, is these questions specifically for Medicon? These, these are. These are. These are. I was going to say, we, we'll also keep them in mind if we do our other channel. Just, mm -hmm. we know people want to see this, mm -hmm. but there's no guarantee it being anywhere. Um, okay. We had a jewelry class at the last event, which was a really good class, okay? 
it was um, turning wire into jewelry, and it was beautiful. And Tracy Dennis did it, and it was a wonderful class. And if you took her class, you realize all that you learned and all that you got to do. We struggled with selling the jewelry class, and I think that's because a lot of people, the majority of people weren't thinking about, I think that most of the people were either acrylic painters or paper crafters or mixed media people, what have you. I love the idea of jewelry, and Tracy can get very detailed in jewelry, but we tried to do a beginner class to see how it would go. So, if so, would you like a jewelry class? Would you like an advanced jewelry class? Because we did a simple class, we know the answer. So, advanced jewelry, yes or no? Then we just get quiet. Mm -hmm. By the way, we have mixed media. Advanced jewelry, yes. Again, it's kind of it's kind of split half and half. Yeah. All right. But that's okay because that's I mean, what we're wanting to learn. You you don't have to take every class at Medicon. You can take the ones that pique your interest. See, that's the point about it. Um, the point of Medicon and the reason we do things a la carte is so you can come and take what you want to take, and that's kind of why we do it. It's like. If we didn't, I want you to think about something. If we didn't do it that way, and all of you guys wanted to take every single class, number one, you wouldn't be able to. And number two, we couldn't fit you all in to the, you know what I'm saying? So we like to spread it out. We like to give you variety. But we want to give you variety that you're interested in. What about this one? That Somebody mentioned this, and I don't hear many people talk about this anymore, but it's really cool. What about iris folding? And if you don't know what iris folding is, it's a way of folding ribbon. It's almost like an aperture it's almost like like you cut out a shape and then you have this folded ribbon that goes into a um, how do you put it into like a pattern it's really beautiful and I want to see what you guys think about that look at all these people that are interested in, in iris folding did y'all see that you can also paper fold that's true it doesn't have to just be ribbon look at that I'm shocked um, love that idea. Did y'all see any other things mentioned that we wanted to ask about? Somebody said some per, how did you say, pergamo? Um, I don't know what that is. Pergamo, 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 somebody spell it again. I never can say it right. That is, um, Renee, can you post that word again? I'm not sure spelling or whatever. It was Renee Stevens. I we had, it. we've done this. Where did we do it? Uh, pergamo, pergamano, pergamano. But it is, what is it, it stands for? Oh, yes, it's it's the shading of parchment paper, right? The shading of um, vellum and parchment paper where you work in, in um, how do I say it? Dark and light. You work in the colors that parchment and vellum create themselves. I'll get it out eventually. It's pretty cool. Are y'all interested in that? about mesh wreaths. We have that one. So we've got wreaths, you know, we have that kind of stuff taken care of. I've seen stained um, glass several times, but that's not something we can do there, correct? The right. problem is our facility also doesn't, there's a lot of things they don't allow us to bring in. So there's some of that stuff. You know one thing they don't allow us to bring in? Glitter. Glitter. <laughs> Glitter. That's interesting. Pergamano, I wish, I hope I'm saying it right. That's a yes, I like that too. It's not hard to do at all. Yeah, we heard from you guys about lettering. Let me ask this question. All right, ready for this? Would you like a hand lettering class? I'm making notes of all of this stuff. Have you ever done stained glass? Um, not traditional, not traditional stained glass. I've done faux stained glass, but I've always wanted to do it. But it's a lot of equipment to do stained glass. Like you, you have to invest in that. You can't. Is that so yes for that lettering? lettering. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let me say this. There's two things I would invest in. Okay? One is stained glass and, and glass craft, period. And the second is ceramics. <laughs> and all I would need is a kiln. That's all I would need. That's all. That's all I would need. That's all. And and some lead. And some slip and some and some molds. But that's all I would need. That's all. <laughs> and some paint and some brushes. And some glass, no. and but that's all I would need to get started. Iron. And a soldering iron, that, but that's it. Okay, let's move on. So I have a soldering iron if you're first to Done. <laughs> that's all I need. Oh, man, it's right on time. I 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, what about, here was something already mentioned, what about Copics? Let me say this, what about Only alcohol marker dollars. coloring? Alcohol marker coloring. They won't let us do wood burning because that requires, you know, fire. So, alcohol markers. Alcohol markers. Maybe, no, yes, wow. yes, marker, yes, maybe, yes, 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 yes. Alcohol markers are big, I know that. Oh, here's one for y'all. Oh, I hate to ask. But I get asked about this all the time. So I want to know what y'all think. Because I think you guys would love it. And I want to make sure I'm not crazy. How about a shaker card class that teaches you three different ways to shaker? Well, we could call it shake, shake, shake. Because it's three different ways to shaker. Shaker card. Three different ways to shaker. Look at this. I told y'all. I get asked all the time. Time. Yes. Please teach us shaker cards that don't leak. <laughs> that don't take special tools. That don't take special tools. That's another thing. That don't take special tools. One of them, I think one of the wow. three would. Lots right? of yeses to shaker cards. Yep. Y'all ready for my next question? <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all my next question, and I know y'all want to do it. Shakers for dummies. That wasn't yeah. a question. <laughs> but listen, we can do it without glitter. That's another cool thing. Because listen, if you taught me a shaker card without glitter, I'd be a happy girl because I don't want to deal with glitter. Okay, how about this one? Ready for this one? What about the magic color card with no fancy tools? Magic color card class. I know it. I know y'all. I know y'all. Magic color card. Watch this. For nice said no. All right, Renee, don't sign up for that. <laughs> if we put it up there, don't sign up. They don't know what it is. The magic color card is where you have the card, and it's in black and white, and then you pull the tab, and it turns to color. It's magic. It's really not magic. The magic. Magic's not real. It's all an illusion. <laughs> it's really an illusion. See what I'm Mine telling y'all? Anything paper. Anything paper. Um, what was the other thing I wanted to ask them about? I don't know. They want to know if I'm going to do a cooking class. Um, you can do a demo. I don't see how you'd be able to do a cooking class in this facility. You can demo a thing and let them eat it. You can demo like something. All right, here's what we're going to do. We've been on more than an hour, and I think we've gotten a lot of information for you guys in our reverse Q&A. And I think that all the people who watch this later will give us lots of information in the comments. Okay? Um, I... I love this this way of getting information from you, and I think I think what we heard from you so far is that you're liking this. I tell you what you do in the in the comments of this. If we didn't name something that's maybe something you want to learn, put it in there, and then let me tell y'all something. If you're an active user of YouTube, I would love it if you would go down and if there's something you like, thumbs up that comment. Okay, so like if. Because this is how we can see it because there's lots of thumbs. It'll tell us how many thumbs up. So let's say somebody puts in underwater basket weaving and you want to learn to do that. Thumbs it up. Like go in there and thumbs it up so okay, we can say was, it. Was his class. Huh? Was we thought that was his class. Vince is going to teach underwater basket weaving. <laughs> but what he's going to do is he's going to be underwater, but he's going to weave the basket out of the water. Oh. <laughs> That sounds effective. So, yeah, if you'll like the comments that come in later, that would be super cool because that's a great way for us to gauge what you guys want, you know. Um, and I think that's it. One of the questions was about, is this going to be in Pigeon Forge every year? And I just want to address that Made It Con travels to different cities and different states um, for each event. Oh, is my gosh. Is that a good way to say that? Yes. Vince could weave the basket underwater. Tracy could put the stuff in it. Tracy could make it a gift basket. Are we doing the travel <laughs> show? Yes, we are. I think. Yes, we are. We have some good. Someone asked earlier, could Vince and what's her husband's name, Bill, Bill. do a video together? <laughs> do a class together at MediaCon. Bill did his first card recently. He did. He gave you a run for your money. Cool. Turkey calling class. Not for me. Not for me. <laughs> All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to ask you guys, since we talked about this earlier, thank really you, Margie, for the reminder. Please subscribe to the channel so you can at least sometimes get notifications. <laughs> please <laughs> ring the bell so you can at least some of the other time get notifications. And please pay attention to our uh, schedule. And you know what? Um, 
we're going to do our we're going to start doing a better job too of letting you know if you're on facebook go like us go subscribe not subscribe go join groups and stuff like that follow me on instagram please help me get 10,000 viewers on instagram so i can do cool stuff and I, i've gotten a question about whether the um convention center is attached to the hotel or the inn it is attached to the hotel and my understanding is that the hotel rooms have all been sold. The inn still has some rooms available. It's technically not attached, but it's in the same parking lot. There you go. So I don't want to, but there is a cover. So if it rains, you don't have to walk in the weather. If you're on the inside, you do have to come across because last year we were in the inn and we got rained on twice. But that, you know what? We are all salt. We all clump. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> we are not sugar. We don't melt. I don't care what he tells you. He is not sugar, okay? Anyway. Um, What's the resort called? Music Road. Con resort and convention center. Let me tell you what you need no, to know. Right. Go to maymaymadeit.com. In the middle of the page is events. Hover over that. Let it drop down. Go to MadeItCon. That's, okay. That's the best way to find it. Everything's listed right there for you. Yeah. Ooh, a henna class. Ooh. Mm. I kind of like that. Because I like henna. I've done that. I've had it done before. I mean, I've had it the pretty stuff, but... All right, we love you guys. We're going to sign out here. We're going to come back with our crafter after show. We do have to do a tiny reset because I think we need to, oh, guess what we have. Oh, good. We have birdies today. But I got a new thing that's going to release, and I need you to, to do it. Did you already do it? No, I didn't have the info yet. She was You got to do it. We got to do it because it needs to go through the date. I was going to, okay. The end is just across right, so the street. The crafter after show is going to be delayed a few minutes. Aunt Lolly needs... Um, traveling tips for carrying crickets online. Who? I mean, online on airlines. Who had to do that? Can you carry it on? Because I know I would be like, yes. this is my child. Yes. I will hold this baby. I will rock this baby. It will not cry. <laughs> I'll hold it right here. <laughs> so that would be a good way. That would be a good thing. Cool. All right, guys, we're gonna sign off here. Um, it's gonna be. A, I'll have to redo the website. The sinking. Then you can do that while we're doing the okay. show. That all right. Turn this off. I'll turn this off. Okay, I'm going to turn this one off, and we're going to reset. You know it. You know, Lolly, call me a nut. <laughs> yes, I am. All right, love you guys. We'll see you in just a few minutes. Bye. Give it a second. I have to find this button, remember? I never have this set up right.